I'm Mr. McCaughey, and I teach AP US History here at Townsend Harris High School. Welcome to room 415. Our first question for you is, why did you decide to teach at Townsend Harris? I had been teaching in the DOE for a while, and I was looking to change schools, teach somewhere else. Uh, so I did my research, and obviously so many great things to find out about Townsend, so I interviewed here, and here I am. Well, we love that you got the job here. Um, what was your first job? First job I ever had was I worked at a country club where I like with a golf course, and I literally went around and picked up the golf balls at the driving range with like a hand thing. And then I got people's golf bags when they wanted to play golf. Do you think that any skills or like anything you learned from that job, does that help you today as a teacher at Townsend Harris? I think just in general, any job, especially your first jobs, are usually gonna be bad, like not things you enjoy, but sometimes you just have to get used to doing work that isn't like your ideal work, but you still gotta get paid, you still gotta work, so just figure out a way to do it. Um, okay, so do you notice any major differences between students at Townsend Harris and other schools that you've taught at? Students here are very friendly. I think I came to the realization that like you're good students, but you're better people. You're all very kind to one another, you're all very supportive of one another, and that's a big difference from other places, I think. So what made you decide to teach history? I love history. Um, it was, I think this might be a future question. It's the only thing in school I was good at. Um, I love studying history and then I love working with young people. I was like, even when I was in grade school, I was like a teacher's assistant doing some work like that. So uh, yeah, it was the only thing I was good at and I like uh, working with young people. Is there a specific reason why you're teaching US history and not like World I kind of lucked into that when I got hired. I thought I might be teaching world history because I taught ninth grade for like 10 years. So I thought they would put me with a ninth grade class. But I guess there was an opening with US, which I would, uh, which would have been my choice. I love US history, but there aren't as many US history jobs because it's only taught in one grade. Um, so assuming history was your best subject, what was your worst subject in high school? Math ruins my life all throughout life. Like, from as far back as I can remember. It didn't help that I was a really bad student. My parents tried really hard. They like put me in math classes or got a tutor, but I didn't work hard enough. Uh, but I'm just not, uh, more of a humanities person. Definitely not math. Um, so when you were in like high school or college, like were you set on being a teacher back then? Or, like what else inspired you to be a teacher? I thought about it. I think I've shared this with some of my classes that like I was a really, I wasn't a good academic student. Uh, and that was partly because I, didn't behave the best in class. Not that I was that bad, but I just talked a lot or goofed around a lot. And a lot of teachers kind of gave up on me. A lot of teachers got sick of dealing with me, except a few. And those few like always tried to work with me. So I always thought of becoming a teacher to try to help that student who kind of gets disregarded by other teachers. So if you could have any other job, what would it be? I would be a like sports broadcaster or like a, like a reporter where you get to like travel with the team and go in the clubhouse. I did a little bit of that in college. Um, and yeah, to, to be able to like go to sporting events for a living, that would be awesome. And last question for this section, reflecting on the pandemic and like the year of virtual learning, what did you gain from the experience? Just to try to be more understanding of people and how difficult it was for everyone. Um, and that came to, you know, working with students and trying to like be flexible with them with their work and everything. And also to just like uh, appreciate each other more. Like, I got to spend more time with my kids, which was nice. I got to take them to the bus every day. And like always kind of uh, remember that uh, as a time that like, while it wasn't perfect, just to be able to appreciate the time that we can spend with people. If you could go anywhere in the world right now, like ignoring COVID, where would you go? Um, I haven't seen, I have a lot of family in Ireland. I might go over there because I haven't seen them in a long time. So it'd be nice to see them. So I'll say that. Next question, what would you like to do in your free time? I like to sometimes just do nothing. I spend a lot of time with my kids, go to sporting events, you know, watch TV with them and things like that. But when, when life gets really busy, I like to like do nothing, just try to like chill as much as possible. So speaking about sports, what is your favorite sport? I think it's baseball. I think overall, I love baseball and hockey, but I think baseball will be the number one. Okay, and what team do you support? For Fortunately, the Mets, who caused me pain and grief, but we'll see, maybe one day they'll win. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, let's see. I can, I can balance like almost 20 quarters on my elbow and then like grab them before they hit the ground. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, if I had any quarters right now, I'm not sure. Do you have any quarters? No, sorry. Same no quarters. It Next does exist time. though. Um, and the last question, if you could time travel, where would you travel to? I might, as a history teacher, I might think about like, something connected to the Civil War, like the Gettysburg Address. But then just personally, my father grew up in Ireland in a house with, small house with nine brothers and sisters. And supposedly my grandmother, who I never got the chance to meet, like ran this house amazingly. It was an amazing one. I'd love to go like look and like see what that house was with all my aunts and uncles and my dad. Okay, so those are the questions for today. So thank you for talking right. with us. Thanks for coming. See you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye.